Scammers, you know, deliberate or are they just people who made bad bets and investors are left holding an empty bag? You know, like, because we're, we're trying to understand the psychology here. Is it someone who sits somewhere and decides, I'm going to sit and scheme how to, to, how to defraud people in the diaspora? Or is, it, or is it just someone who made a bad bet and then investors are left holding the empty bag? If it's a one-time case, we can say something happened. You know, it ha it can happen. They say this thing can happen to the best of us. You have seen even Nairobi. If you are familiar with um, the Rostans roundabout where there was a Nakumat there that was demolished. Mm -hmm. They said it was on the road. Actually, there was tractors demolishing Nakumat yes. from the Muhindi. And he had all the documents. So these things can happen even to the best of us. People can be, we can buy air you know without even knowing you have done all the due diligence maybe somebody knows somebody who knows somebody of the green cards but it is very very rare but what i see about the people who mess up the aspirants is a serial thing okay. you know it's somebody who doesn't have a conscious because when you when you're ripping off people millions and millions and you're still living freely and living with them that shows you are not even i don't know what i would call these people but I, if you if you ask me i would say these are people who are doing it on purpose. They go buy a, a riparian land. They know it's by the river. They or they go get a community land. They know there will be issues later, and they go ahead and subdivide it and sell it. Or okay. sometimes they dis, they subdivide it in the uh, uh, what do you call it illegal sizes. You know, there's some places where they're not supposed to be quarters or fifty by hundreds, and they go ahead and do it anyway. They pass somebody to Kidogo, and they are knowing what they are doing is wrong. Because if you're in the business and you're in the ground you and you're in real estate, you know what to do and what not to do. Okay. All right. Good. Now, a uh, comment here coming from Mutai Victor. Uh, Mutai says, if you conduct all necessary research, obtain the, the land from a reliable source and later encounter a claim of ownership by another party, is there insurance coverage to assist with this situation? Anna. Hmm. Insurance on land purchase? No, not in Kenya currently. Okay, so apple to me osho. Ume osho, and that's why some people have these <laughs> lawyers. So, so there's a place, there's a bank, like an escrow, where they put the money, you know, until all the sanction is, is done. Like you have your lawyer, have your lawyer, we are putting the money here, you know. That's that's one of the things you can uh, like safeguard your investment, but not many people are familiar with it. Okay, and also Asheke says they target diasporans because they know we don't have time to follow up uh, due to distance. And I think Annie is here today to help us as diasporans to know what to do so as not to be in these situations. Because I think there's structures now that have been set up and companies that are helping diasporans. Uno. Uh, maybe Anne, you can elaborate more on that bank that whatever is put in escrow. To help maybe you can elaborate a little bit more maybe that can can be of, of some 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 help uh, or make us understand you know like how um when if 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 your part if it, is it is it an organization is it is it uh uh people coming together am i it's you guys that you know you 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 pull your monies your resources put them there and then if everything checks out then uh, uh disbursements are made and then you know people get the land I, I don't know maybe maybe you can elaborate more on what you're talking about or referring to when you talk about the the escrow um i don't have a big experience on it i don't know somebody in the comment has but uh once i was a board member of a big women's circle called canards and we were purchasing a big land in nanuki a very big land worth a lot of money this money was raised by women here in the u.s it's a circle so we, we had to be very safe. We had to do everything. So what happens most of the time when you're buying this kind of investment, you have your lawyer and they have their lawyer. So there's an account that is there that the money goes to. That and, and all, all the people should be signatories too, you know, and nobody can transact without the other. So and when the land is completely transferred, according to how I understood it, then is when now, you know, the money is released to them. To the seller. Uh -huh.